Hello all. In this video, we are going to discuss about static properties in System Verilog. In Verilog, whatever we have defined in a module, it will behave as static. For example, in a module, if we define some properties, then these properties are all of static type. Means these properties will share a common memory so this all properties in the module shares common memory whereas property which is defined inside a class will behave as automatic or dynamic that is different objects will share different memory for suppose for a class we have different objects then these object 1 object 2 object 3 then these three objects will have different memories this is the case of oops whereas in modules these properties will share same memory so in order to make this class behave as module we will use static keyword so that different objects of the class sh shares the common memory let us take an example here consider a class called packet and it has a property called packet underscore id and we are and here we are declaring a variable called number of packets created of byte type and this is of static and we are creating a function new and we are incrementing the number of packets underscore created this is a static property this is a static property and we are assigning this to packet underscore id and we are ending the function and within the display we are displaying the packet underscore id and within the module we are creating three handles of the class packet so for this class packet we have pkt of 0 pkt of 1 and pkt of so for this class we have three handles pkt of 0 pkt of 1 pkt of 2 and within initial begin block we are creating objects for this handles so pkt of 0 we have three objects for this class pkt of 1 and pkt of 2 we have created three objects for this class and we are displaying using this three handles that is pkt of 0 dot display pkt of 0 dot display and pkt of 1 dot display so on like this we are displaying so every time an object is created for example initially this number of packets underscore created will be equal to 0 when an object pkt of 0 is created then this number of packets created will be equal to one since the object is created so this variable will be incremented and this packet underscore id will be equal to one pkt underscore id will be equal to one next pkt of one when this object is created as as this variable number of packets underscore created is of static type so all the objects that is pkt of 0, pkt of 1 and pkt of 2 will share the same property that is number of packets underscore created. These three objects will share the common variable. So that's why when this pkt of 1 is created this will increment the same variable that is number of packets underscore created. So this will be equal to number of packets underscore created will be equal to 1 and packet underscore id sorry number of packets underscore created will be equal to 2 and pkt underscore id will be also equal to 2 so like this when we create three objects then pkt underscore id will be incremented so so finally we can say that static properties are shade across all the objects of the class pkt of 0 here in this case pkt of 1 and pkt of 
whereas normal properties are not shared across all the objects each object will have its own copy whereas static properties will be shared across all the objects so so that's all about static properties thank you for watching this video